Uh, here are the five steps to discipline trading. Step one, journaling. Statistical review of trades made. Now this is the part of journaling that everybody seems to know and understand. Uh, noting your trades. You see, the journal is the area where you reflect on your performance. It is the, it's, it's where you're honest with yourself. And it starts, that honesty starts with recording the statistics of the trade, where you got in, where you got out. Uh, you can do this on the computer or in paper, and we'll discuss a little bit about the difference in a second. Uh, it's, it's, journaling is the, is the format for self-evaluation. It's the place, again, where you're going to be honest with yourself, because that's where it all starts. When you start the blame game, when you start looking outside yourself, um, that's, that's where you get no solutions. That's where the only thing that you can change is yourself. And you're going to wind up seeing, if you take the road to trading discipline, that, uh, that changing yourself is a very powerful thing. Uh, I'm a big talker. Anybody, I don't know if anybody ate dinner with me last night. I, you know, I, I have to stop and listen more. Anybody have to listen more in there? M my, my, just me? Uh, my, my wife says, you know, you're not listening to me. And so I stop and I, I try to listen. Uh, but those, I have found that the people who I, who, who I consider wise people are those that listen. Uh, and, you know, when you, when you see the beautiful woman with the, with, the, with the guy that you can't imagine her being with or, or vice versa, I can pretty much tell you the, the guy is a good listener. And that's, that's probably the difference. Probably he's, maybe, maybe has a lot of money, too. But. Uh, Self-critique. What did I do right? Where didn't I follow my, where did I follow my trading plan, which is the other form of what did I do right? What did I do? So you've got the statistics down. Now it's a matter of comparing what you did with what your trading plan commanded that you do. Okay. So what did I do right? How did I follow my trading plan? Where didn't I follow my trading plan? What caused me mentally and emotionally not to follow my plan if you didn't follow your plan? So you want to give yourself, um, you want to give yourself a pat on the back for following your plan, and you want to analyze why you didn't follow your plan. What happened? Somebody came into the room. I heard a news report that scared me a little bit, and therefore I uh, decided I would get out of the position rather than stay in, and uh, you know, I, I, le I left a lot of money on the table. I, I jumped off my plan because I got a new piece of information that changes everything. This changes everything. Uh, and, and that may have been a result of the fact that you took, you know, that you didn't take a profit the last time in your last trade, and you didn't want to make that mistake this time, therefore you were looking for a reason to get out early that made it okay, so the news report was what you needed. You, looked at, you didn't know this, but your subconscious mind was, af was, was afraid to give away, was afraid not, not to let a, 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 a winner run like you did the last time, and therefore you're, you, consciously you're actually looking around for reasons to not follow your trading plan because you you really, what you're really doing is following what your subconscious mind believes is true. And we're going to get into that a little bit more. But you've got to do the analysis. You've got to see where you went right, where you went wrong, and what caused you, what outside influence or thought that you had um, caused you to get off, jump off your plan. Um, what will I commit to tomorrow? to make me disciplined in that situation. If you did something, if you jumped off your plan because of that, tomorrow, so you, you may make a statement, in the future, or starting now, you, you, you want to avoid statements like in the future, uh, or some, worse would be someday, but <laughs> you want to try to make your, pre, you want to make your statements in the present. And I, I can't go through everything in, in 90 minutes about journaling, but I want to give you some of the um, some of the highlights. Uh, you want to 
you, you want to um, make a statement on, how, on committing to correcting that problem. Tomorrow, I will follow my plan because I am a wise and disciplined trader. Uh, that is a statement. I am a wise and disciplined trader is the statement that, uh, that we use in the Discipline Trader Intensive Program that really has, I've learned, is a very empowering statement. If you believe, you see, if you're a wise person, that's different from being a smart person because smart people do stupid things. A wise person does the right thing because he knows the effect of his wisdom on himself and others. So you are a wise and disciplined trader. So here is a statement. I am a wise and disciplined trader, and I do the things that a wise and disciplined trader does.